D, you catching a cold? Uh, I don't know, but I'm definitely catching something. This sucks. Somebody must be talking about you. Oh, look, here we are. Yeah, finally. You didn't mention that we'd have to walk five miles from the parking lot? This entire area is preserved and protected by the British National Trust. That's why the beauty of the natural surroundings is untarnished. Anyway, we're here, right? Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah, all right. <sighs> Whatever. Hmm? He's picking up girls in a nature preserve? Now that's pretty impressive. Good afternoon. I have a reservation under Randy McLean. Ah, Mr. McLean. Yes, we've been expecting you. Welcome to our hotel. Uh, but I see here that your reservation was made for three guests. Oh, I'm sorry. The other person was unable to come at the last minute. Oh, I see. Well, then I shall go ahead and cancel one of your party. Thank you. I am the owner of this hotel, Mr. Leonard Henry. Please don't hesitate to let me know if there's anything you need. Uh, Jacko, show our guests to their rooms. The cook is also the porter. Business must be slow. Hey, now, don't be so rude. Oh, Dee, look at this. There's a lake behind the hotel. Ah, what a great view. Why don't we go down there later? I think Bicky really should have come with us. I still don't get why he just changed his mm. mind right at the last minute. Yeah, I don't get it. Oh, please, Bicky, I'm begging you. No way. I already told you, I'm totally looking forward to it, dude. You liar! You know how much you hate to travel! How many times have I heard you say that flying makes you sick? Oh, how I am counting the days to my trip to England with you guys. I'm going. You dirty little... Hmm? Did somebody say something? No, no, no nothing at all. <laughs> hmm. Hey, how about this? Wow, a hundred bucks? How about it? You really want to stay here in America, don't you? <laughs> well, that's life, I guess. Okay, I'll let you off easy. And uh, don't forget to get me a souvenir, D. A hundred smackaroos. I'll kill him when I get home. What's the matter, D? Hmm? Your room is over there? Oh, uh, right. be another guest. Real. Ah! D, D, you surprised me. Knock first, will ya? Don't freak out on me, man. I did knock first. Hey, why don't we go down to the lake? Vicky! Hey! Yeah. Aren't you supposed to be on vacation with Rio and D? <laughs> Well, there was a slight change of plans. Change of plans? You know, so they could be alone without me there if you get my drift. You know those guys. Yeah, I got you. D asked you not to come, didn't he? He's got a one-track mind. Exactly. So I took his hundred bucks. I was a little short this month anyways. So, for a hundred bucks, you're just gonna let Rio lose his virginity? I don't think it'll be that easy. Rio definitely knows how to take care of himself. Yeah, but... D will definitely get real aggressive this time. Just the two of them? He might finally have his way. I don't think so. Absolutely nothing's gonna happen. Forget about it. Oh. One buck, they go all the way this time. 
One buck says D makes absolutely no progress. It's nice here. And it's quiet. Yeah, it was a good idea to get away from New York. We can relax for a change. Come to think of it, it's been a while since either of us had any time away from the job. Seems like we're always on duty. It's been quite a while. Huh? Since we've been alone together, away from work. Oh, I guess it's true. That's surprising. We were both thinking the same thing. How long has it been since I met Dee for the first time? You dumbass! Yeah. God damn it! How many times do I have to tell you? Dee, are you listening to me? Yeah, I'm listening. Uh, um... Yeah, what is it? Sorry to interrupt, but I've been assigned to this department. I'm Randy McLean, sir. Oh, you're the new guy. So, uh, I guess that was today then, right? Huh? I, I, I mean, perhaps you lost, or didn't receive Hold the memo? <laughs> D, where the hell you going? Yeah, well, you look pretty busy, so I thought maybe I'd just better go get back to work. Oh, no, you don't. Hey, new guy. McLean, sir. This is your new partner, McLean. Huh? He'll show you the ropes. Yeah. My name's Dee Leitner. Call me Dee. I'm Randy McLean. It's uh, very nice to meet you. Hmm? Hey, pal. You happen to be Oriental. Your eyes look kind of Asian. Uh, yeah. I'm Japanese-American. Oh. So you probably have a Japanese name then, don't you? Yes, it's Rio. Rio, huh? You don't like being called Rio. No, I don't really mind. Then Rio it is. I'll call you Rio from now on. Hey, we're partners, aren't we? From now on, Rio, you can just leave everything to me! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whew. Seems like he's a pretty direct person. Definitely a little obnoxious. Yet, there's something quite attractive about him. That's how I felt when we first met. Rio. Huh? Hey, D. Okay. I want to know what you really think of me. What I think of you? Uh, I can't keep my feelings a secret from you, Rio. Your, your feelings? Uh, Dee, be careful! The boat! Tell me how you feel. How I feel? Hey, what's that? <laughs> you bastard! You did that on purpose, didn't you? No, stop it! Look over there! There's something floating over there! Something is floating! You mean something like a corpse? Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? Look closer. Don't you see a body? Well, this is just great. I mean, we're supposed to be on vacation. According to the local police, the victim suffered multiple stab wounds from behind with a sharp object. Then she must have been dumped in the lake immediately after being murdered. The gas trapped inside the body caused it to float afterwards. All right. We came here for a vacation. I know, but... Huh? Those two girls were questioned too, weren't they? They must be the other hotel guests. Come on, let's go say hi to them. But... Hold on, Dee. Well, hello there. Are you two staying here? Yes, since yesterday. You two? Yep, when that dorky-looking guy over there. <laughs> So who did you say is dorky looking? How do you do? My name is Arisa, Arisa Bryan, and this is my friend, Cindy Irving. Hi, how are you? My name's Dee Leitner, and this guy over here is Randy McLean. Hi there. Arisa, are you also Japanese? No way, you're Japanese too? I never would have guessed. <laughs> my Japanese genes aren't too dominant. By the way, my fair ladies, perhaps I might interest you in joining us for a nice game of cards? Uh. That sounds like fun, but... Huh? What is it? Mr. Henry and the police are talking right now. About what? Because we're so close to the murder site, the police feel it would be best if the guests were to leave for a while. What's that? I don't want to have to walk five miles again. Uh, we'll have to when we leave anyway, right? <clears throat>
Hey, we could ask for a ride in a police car. We are cops, after all. Aren't we in the wrong country? And besides, once we get in a police car, it's really gonna make it feel like we're back on duty. How'd it go? Everything's fine. For the time being, you'll be permitted to stay here. However, I'm afraid that the lake is going to remain off limits. What a relief. We don't have to pack up and go somewhere else. So I guess now we'll be able to play that game of cards after all. If everyone's going to engage in a round of cards, please feel free to use the tea parlor. You'll find a large gaming table there. Aw, don't tell me I lost again. What's up with you, Arisa? You're on a real losing streak. Oh man! Would you like to have some tea or something, maybe? It could bring you a change of luck. Do you think so? I'll go get some for you. <laughs> I'll come and give you a hand. Does it bother you? Hmm? It does, doesn't it? What do you mean? The way Cindy's looking at Randy. I think she likes him. It looks that way? So, are the two of you lovers? Hey, you're a pretty straightforward kind of girl now, aren't you? I mean, when two guys stay alone at an isolated hotel like this one, it's pretty obvious. So, I'd say you like him, am I wrong? And I'd say that's a bit too personal to tell a stranger. Well, I'm no stranger to that feeling. I have someone I love, just like you. Did you get that rock from him? Oh, he proposed to me last month. Oh. Then I'm sure you definitely do not understand how I feel. I've been chasing after him for forever. But it's nothing more than a one-sided love. Well, actually, I do understand. I was like that, too, for a long, long time. I waited for him for six long years until he finally proposed to me. You've got real perseverance. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that it's going to be okay. And I'm sure he must care a lot about you, too. You think so? He's always really cold to me, you know? Listen to me, it's gonna be all right. The whole time we were playing cards, every time you turned to talk to us, you know, he was looking at you. Are you sure? I give you my word of honor. <laughs> hey, you know, I think I kinda like you. You'll be happy just like me real soon, you'll see. You just want an excuse to brag about your guy, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> the night has finally come. The two of us are all alone tonight, baby. JJ isn't here. Car isn't here. The chief isn't here. And my mortal evil enemy, Biki, is not here. Thanks to Biki, I had to lay out an extra hundred bucks just to get this chance. Tonight will not be in vain. Is that D? The door's open. You're still awake? Yeah, it's too early to sleep. I was just reading a book. So what's up? I thought that maybe we could have a drink. Sounds good. There's a full moon out tonight. How about out on the veranda? Cheers. Cheers. Uh-oh. Shouldn't we drink to something? Oh, that's true. We should probably make a toast to something, huh? <laughs> well, how about we drink to our vacation? Speaking of our vacation, I wonder. Why'd the chief give us vacation leave at the same time? Well, you know, uh, we've both been working pretty hard lately, so we really deserved it. Chief, you gotta give me and Rio our vacation leave at the same time! You gotta! If you don't, I swear I'll quit! Fine! Go ahead and quit! And don't come crawling back, either! You are completely useless! You should learn to appreciate your job! Ah, oh, come on! Don't say things like that! I'm begging you, Chief! Come on! I'm begging you! D, about the murder at the lake. Again? This is supposed to be our vacation. I know that, Dee, but there's one thing. When I was being questioned by the police before, there was something that I didn't tell them. What are you talking about? Before we found the body floating in the lake, I noticed that there was a man standing alone underneath the veranda. I think he came from the direction of the lake. You think that this man is related to the case somehow? I don't know. There was a moment when his eyes seemed to burn into mine but they weren't the eyes of a criminal. That's why I didn't feel it was important to report it at the time. But now it's bothering me. Huh? Oh! <coughs> j j just a minute! Very interesting. It isn't like you'd have such a strong interest in a case. Is that so? When we first met, I basically felt the same thing about you. But I don't want it to be the same. You say not the same, but I really just don't know, Dee. <sighs> 
I swear, you're just as dense as usual. I can't help it, Rio. I'm jealous. <laughs> hey, what is it? Is it something funny? I mean, it's just... You don't usually just come right out and say those sort of things, D. Come off it. You know I'm a very honest guy. Yeah, you are. I know that very well. You're being very good tonight. I'm thinking about things. Like what? Like just how serious you are. Huh? A while back, you got pretty angry with me, remember? What are you looking at, huh? Hey, are you falling for me? <laughs> of course not. Oh, really? Don't play around with me. You're joking as usual, right? Mom! <laughs> Do not turn my feelings into a joke, Rio. Anyway, that's basically what I was thinking about right now. That's why you won't let me do more than kiss you. <laughs> I don't know that I would actually put it quite like that. You're a strange creature. Why's that? If you wanted time to think, then all you'd have to do is just push me away. I'd understand. Is that what you think? That's what I think. Uh, huh? Oh! Okay, that's as far as we will go tonight. To tell you the truth, I was hoping we were going to go all the way! Uh, D. Why don't you give my seriousness some serious thought? Oh well, let's just drink tonight. Room number 205. Yeah, I've corrected the cancellation and adjusted the reservation for two extra guests. D, you'll catch a cold if you sleep out here all night. Come on, D. Look, you emptied the bottle all by yourself. You drank too much. Oh, you'll just have to sleep it off. And I'll have to sleep in your room tonight. Good night, D. Randy? Oh, uh, um, Arissa. Is something wrong? It's almost midnight. Someone was knocking on the door before, but when I opened it, no one was there. Then I heard a noise coming from down at the end of the hallway. It doesn't look like anyone's there. It's strange. Cindy's already sleeping in her room. <laughs> Dee drank too much and passed out in my room. It must have been the wind. I guess. Hey, Randy. You really like Dee a lot, don't you? Will I? <laughs> uh, excuse me, but what exactly are you implying? Well, just that I feel sorry for Dee. But don't take this the wrong way. I'm already very happily engaged. Little Mr. Peter Rabbit is going to be his present. Isn't he cute? <laughs> This is the place where Peter Rabbit was born. Did you know that? Well, um, why is it you say you feel so sorry for Dee? Don't pretend that you don't know how he feels about you. I was supposed to come to this hotel on vacation with my fiancé, but he got called into work. I'd been really looking forward to taking a trip with just the two of us. That's why I understand how Dee's feeling. Arisa. I still just can't seem to figure it all out, what my feelings are. I mean, how I feel about Dee, huh? I can see it right in your eyes, that you love Dee. You should try to let yourself express your feelings sometimes. Huh? <laughs> <sighs> Let's do something together again tomorrow. Good night. Good night? Uh, what are you doing out of bed? You need to sleep it off. We can switch rooms for tonight and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gonna puke! Oh! I don't feel so good. 
Hold it in. Don't throw up here. The toilet. Do it in the toilet. D. Towel. Oh, thank you. Oh, my head hurts. Take care of me. Don't be a baby. I'll go bring back mm. some ice for you. I'll go with you. You better wait here in the room. Ah, oh, come on. I need to walk off the alcohol anyway. Hmm? Is somebody there? I see. This must be what Arisa was talking about. Hey, Rio. What are you doing down here, Rio? Shh. Why are you shushing me? Tell me what's going on. <clears throat> hey, D, don't push me. Come on. Hey, watch it, D. Knock it off. Ah! <laughs> Who are you? Hey, hold it! Uh, Rio? Oh. There's a grumpy face looking at us. Uh, <laughs> hello. I mean, uh... <laughs> What's wrong, uh, Jugger? Uh, uh, What's going on here at this hour? Oh, nothing. I'm so sorry. My friend's a little bit drunk. Huh? Uh, uh, oh. uh, that's quite unfortunate. I'll have some medicine sent up to his room. Oh, no, no, he'll be fine. Perhaps you could just spare some ice? <laughs> What's the matter, Rio? Huh? That guy before, was he the one you saw? Hmm. You're not very careful for detectives. These sorts of things ought to be kept in the safety box at the front desk of the hotel. D! Who the hell are you? What do you want? New York State Police. Special Detective Homicide. Lieutenant Berkeley Rose. A New York State Detective? I see. So he's one of us. Why don't we all take a little walk? I think it'll probably make you feel better. We're not supposed to go down there. Don't worry about that. We're all police officers. I'm staying at a small hotel on the other side of the lake. I tell you what, I sure as hell didn't expect to find any cops like you guys over here. Yeah, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> this sucks. D. This is... Right. This is where you found the body. The victim was a young Japanese woman. Japanese? What about it? Actually, I've only learned this information since my arrival. During the past five years, a large number of tourists have been reported missing from this area and all of them were of Japanese descent. Do you know if it's usually so dangerous around this area? The owner of the hotel didn't mention anything about it. The locals won't discuss this with anyone. I have a deep suspicion that this murder and the other cases are related. It's a natural connection to make, but unfortunately, when I went to the local press, they wouldn't even bother considering it. They're afraid of bad publicity. Well, the police force is on top of things. But this is a pretty buttoned-up community. There hasn't been much progress made so far. So that's why you're doing a little digging around by yourself. I just can't stand their style of investigation. Well, I'm impressed. A New York State cop who works so hard, he can't help working even when he's on vacation in a foreign country. From my perspective, a case like this is a fun way to kill time. So how about it? Why don't the three of us join forces? No, thanks. From my perspective, investigation isn't a game. D. Your sentiments the same as your partner's? Regarding your frustration over the handling of the case, I think I understand exactly how you feel. But on the other hand, I must agree with D. Investigation's not a game. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> he's got a soft exterior, but he's pretty tough. Be upset. 
That detective, Berkeley Rose, is exactly the type of guy that D hates. You know that Rose guy? Huh? The more I'm thinking about it, the more I realize he sort of has a point, you know? The thing I can't stand about that sort of guy is the way that he thinks. Can't say why, but I just don't like it. And you, I'm sure that you must think I'm totally acting like a big crybaby, don't you? Hmm? No, no, come on. Anyway, I don't think you did anything wrong tonight. That's just the way you are. Oh, you're just saying that. I'm not sure, but I feel like you're making fun of me. <laughs> Go to sleep. You weren't feeling so well before. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. You should express your feelings sometimes. Good night, Dee. Uh, uh. Let's go! <laughs> Dee, what are you doing? You oh. little fool! Did you think I'd actually be satisfied with just one little itty bitty kiss? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh. Stop it, Dee! We agreed we weren't gonna do anything tonight, remember? I take that back! A man's gonna do what a man's gonna oh. do! I won't give up my big plans for this trip! Stop it! There's nothing to worry about! You don't have to be afraid! Just lie back and leave everything to me now, Rio! Just what the hell am I supposed to lead to you, Dee? Stop it! Knock it off! I can't stop now! Time out! Time out! <laughs> Hmm? There you go, you see? Quit pushing. Hey, it got quiet all of a sudden. Rio must have finally given in. Hm? Guess that means I win. Oh, not so fast. The lights are still on in there. Maybe adults do it with the lights on. <laughs> Beaky! Kara, what in the world are the two of you doing here? <laughs> Oh, hello there. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> what the hell do you mean, it's been a while? We've only been gone for less than 48 hours, you annoying, good-for-nothing, rotten troublemakers. <laughs> Moron. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Hey, Kara, I win. Cough up a dollar. Really? Don't forget about the fact that Dee was attacking him just now. Oh, shoot, man. I guess that makes us even. That's life, I guess. Excuse me for interrupting, but were you too good for nothing <laughs> betting on us? Nighty night, Maria. How'd you guys manage to get all the way here? Well, you never canceled the flight. Plus, I had this month's lunch money. And I borrowed some. Don't worry, I'll pay it back. All right, but there's to be no picking pockets, okay? Oh, you're saying you don't trust me? Okay, okay, I'll find a part-time job. Mm. Hey, I want my money back. Mm. What are you talking about? Don't play with me, Bicky. I gave you a hundred bucks to not come on this trip, or did you forget? Nah, I didn't forget, but I already spent it all, so there. You son of a... What's this about a hundred bucks? Huh? Oh, it's <laughs> nothing really, nothing at all. <laughs> Damn it all, that little ingrate Bicky. So this is how he operates. I'll remember this. Would you like some more? Thank you. It's good. Just more coffee for me, please. Of course. He's actually pretty darn good with the kids. Well, that's part of why I like the guy. <laughs> uh, what the heck are you laughing at? You're a big weirdo. He's really creepy. He's such a strange person. Oh, Mr. Henry, would you happen to have seen Arisa or Cindy by any chance? Oh, yes. Uh, the two ladies checked out quite early this morning before your party came down to breakfast. Is something wrong? Uh, no. That's fine, then. Thank you. That's strange. Last night, I thought. Let's do something together again tomorrow. Rio, hurry huh? up! What are you doing? Okay, here I come. McLean and Leighton 
you just took off to England on a weekend getaway? Who said anything about a weekend getaway? The two of them just decided to take their paid vacation. Oh my god. I never imagined that something like this would happen while I was away. Ah, forget it. He's completely obliterated to a word we say. Hey, Chief! Please, Chief, I'm begging you! You've got to give me a few days off, just a few! I still have some vacation time saved up. If you don't approve this for me, I'm gonna quit the bars! I can't take much more of this. These bastards are driving me nuts! <laughs> and now, folks, it is finally the end of baby time! Yes! It's getting late, and I gotta find a way to sneak into his room! Wait for me, Rio. Something tells me I'm gonna score tonight. You're drooling, you big pervert! Oops, that's not good! Huh? What the hell? Becky! What the hell do you think you're doing still awake at this hour? It's not even ten yet. You better not try anything sleazy. You bite-sized punk! It's officially sleepy time for shrimps! Go to the bathroom, brush your teeth, and make a wee-wee before you go to bed! You prepubescent pain in the ass! Hey, perv man, there's no way I'm gonna make things convenient for you by hitting the sack early. Huh! You think I'm gonna go to sleep? No way! Obnoxious little brat. Huh? <laughs> 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 What was that? I thought I heard a girl's voice. <laughs> it sounds like it's coming from downstairs. Kind of sounds like she's crying, doesn't it? Open. What, what happened? The two of you look like you've just seen a ghost. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. All right, what did you see? It was a ghost. Don't we all go? trying to say anything. You know you should have seen it. I brought a white dress for standing there. Did you sign your name? Are you listening to me? God damn it. You know that ghosts don't really exist. Oh. It's just your imagination, Vicky. And really, Dee, you should know better. Why don't the two of you stop babbling and go to sleep? He's the type of guy who looks like he should believe in ghosts more than anybody. But actually, he's a realist. Yeah, exactly. He's such a realist. He said we're babbling. He said we should just go to sleep. What are you two doing now? Come on, Vicky. Huh? Yeah. Vicky, you're not going to sleep in my room tonight? Nah, I think I better stay with D. Good night. Hmm. It looks like those two are finally getting along. Well, that's great. You look tired today. Didn't sleep well last night? Huh? Anything in the news today? Yeah. But I can't find anything in here about a ghost. Don't tell me you're still thinking about that case. Uh, would you please forget it? Get it through your thick skull that we are not cops when we're on vacation. You think so? Is there anything wrong with being a 24-hour cop? Yeah, well, I'm just so impressed. Good morning! <laughs> Coming through! You dumbass kids, stay the hell away from me! The ghost of a girl? 
I'm telling you, we saw it. It was real. Okay. But you still really believe in ghosts, Bicky? Ha! You don't believe me, do you, Carol? Well, you know, Bicky, I guess I'm just a realist the same as Rio. Oh, you don't know because you weren't there. I'm telling you, it was really scary. Did you wet your pants, Bicky? You won't get away with that one! I help you? Is there anything wrong? Oh, nothing. We were just... Uh, something about the painting? Uh, who is she? This is a portrait of my daughter, Maria Elizabeth. It's been five years now since she passed away. An unfortunate incident. Because it's a rainy day today, we'll decide who goes grocery shopping by playing rock, scissors, paper, okay? One, One two, two, three, three shoot! Shit! I must be the dumbest idiotic guy in the entire world! Um, why's that? Because he lost with paper. That means his head is made of paper. Be nice, Kara. Hmm. Okay. Pasta, tomato sauce, garlic, and milk? Who the heck added this? Right here. Milk makes a body grow. That might be true, Kara. However, it won't make your boobs grow bigger. That's <laughs> none of your business, thank you. At least mine are bigger than yours. Oh. Good afternoon, sir. Um, hi. I'm looking for two Americans that might be staying in this hotel. One's a pretty cool, tall, good-looking guy. And the other's a basically dorky-looking Japanese-American guy. Hmm, perhaps you mean the two gentlemen from New York. Yes, right! That's them! Oh, thank God! I finally found them. One of them is Japanese? Yeah, you probably wouldn't notice he's Oriental, except for around the eyes. D, hi there! <laughs> JJ! Ah! I missed you so much! Oh! Okay, now, how about just one little kissy-poo? Ah! Wait, wait, JJ! It's me! It's Rio! Look, JJ, I'm not D! Huh? Oh my god, Rio? Yeah! Let's Whoa! go! <laughs> D, where are you going? Hmm. Okay, here's my luggage. It goes in room 209. And I have to say, it was very unfair of you not to include me on this little getaway! <laughs> wait for me, D! going to be getting pretty noisy around here. At least being alone with Dee was nice and peaceful. <laughs> Look, come to think of it, it wasn't all that peaceful. Hmm? D, sorry it took so long. You two, wait for me here. Detective Rose. Who is it? D. Leitner, Lieutenant. Can I ask what you're doing here at the hospital? I'm not here because I'm sick, but thanks for your concern. That isn't the reason I was asking. So, what happened to your partner? He's back at the hotel, where we're staying. I see. You seem disappointed. Hey, you figured it out. That is exactly right. Hm. The truth is, I prefer his company to yours. You got a lot of nerve. Oh, well, excuse me for living. Oh, that's a good one. Next time you should stay at the hotel. That's blood. Human blood. 
this sample was found in the kitchen of the hotel where you guys happen to be staying. You mean that time? The results of the DNA testing indicate that it matches the blood of the victim from the lake. Also, perhaps you might be interested to hear what I found out at the hospital. Mmm, this cheesecake is totally out of this world. Of course, the tea isn't bad either. Do you mind if I ask how old you are, Kara? I just turned 13 two months ago. Why are you asking? No, oh, please forgive me. You see, my daughter Maria was about your age when she died. You reminded me of her. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have asked you about that. No, don't apologize. It's rather like being with my daughter, and it's quite pleasing. Mr. Leonard Henry? You mean the owner of the hotel? Yes. Five years ago, his 13-year-old daughter was murdered by a group of Japanese visitors. The murderers were identified and arrested soon after the killing. Did you say murdered? That means the ghost we saw was the daughter of the owner. <laughs> I knew she was real. Around that time, the reports of missing Japanese tourists started coming in. Don't you find it a bit suspicious? Are you saying you think it's the hotel owner? What I'm saying is that it's a potential motive for the crime. Just because his daughter was killed by some Japanese guys. <gasps> Japanese guys? So he kills any Japanese? Huh? What's the matter, Kara? I don't know. I just kind of feel sleepy all of a sudden. Do you feel like you might be sick? Uh... Kara? Uh, uh... Kara! Goodness gracious! Uh, perhaps it would be best if you take her to the room. Yeah. Do you think you'd be able to bring some water and ice up to the room in a few minutes? Mm, to which room, sir? We'll be in my room. Room number 206, if you don't mind. It will be my pleasure. Rio? Huh? Did you say Rio? I heard one of the other guests call you that. Oh. All of the missing tourists were of different ages. The only common link is that they were all Japanese. <gasps> hey! <gasps> Rio's in danger! Huh? What are you talking about? He's half Japanese. What? Calm down. There's no way to tell from his appearance that he has any Japanese blood. He'll be just fine. He's exactly right, you know. I mean, even the hotel owner had no idea that he's half Japanese. You... You told him that Rio was half Japanese? Yeah. I told him just before when I checked in. <laughs> you... <sighs> Get some backup to the hotel! Code 4! What do you think you're doing, Leitner? The car's not fast enough! Hey, you! Where are you going with my bike, asshole? and water are taking too long. Well, I guess I'll go get it myself. What the hell? I feel dizzy. Can you? That's because the tea you drank earlier was spiked with a little something special. Wh what's the meaning of this? Allow me to explain if you will, Master Rio. You see, five long years have passed since I took over the management of this hotel. One weekend, we had three gentlemen guests. Japanese American <sighs> gentlemen guests. At that time, I was living here at the hotel quite, quite contentedly with my very young and very innocent daughter. She had just turned 13 years old, and she had become very beautiful, just like my wife. May she rest in peace. She was very honest and kind, and she was everything to me. It was quite evident that the Japanese guests were rather interested in my daughter. 
And then, one day... I found my daughter, down at the lake. They had killed her so brutally. I could see what they had done to her. My daughter was killed by you. Killed by you, Japanese. That is why I'm afraid you must die, Master Real. <laughs> Oh my, I missed. You what? What do you mean you missed? You're sick! It's quite all right. I took him in off the street as a dirty child begging for food. He was always a very obedient servant, but he proved entirely useless just at the moment I needed him the most. He was there with Maria, but he couldn't protect her. He deserves death. Uh, by the way, I recall you asking, Master Rio, about Miss Orissa and her friend. What have you done to... Th ah! This is... Oh... Oh no, Arisa. Why? I can see it in your eyes, that you love Dee. You should try to let yourself express your feelings sometimes. Why? Why did you have to kill them? Didn't I already explain this to you? The Japanese must pay for their behavior. But why Cindy then? She's not Japanese! She was an unfortunate victim of circumstance. Cindy happened to see me bringing Orisa down here. You're making a big mistake! Wake up! Mr. Henry, the Japanese people who killed your daughter Maria must be found and punished under the law! That's simply not good enough. Maria's life was worth much, much more than all the Japanese tourists who come to visit the countryside put together. The only problem is I can never kill enough of you. No! What you are doing does not help your daughter! Each person's life is equally valuable! Open your eyes! See what you're doing! You shan't get away, Rio. Maria! Are you all right? I've definitely been better. You need to go get your injuries taken care of. I should be here. It's all right. We'll make sure everything else is handled correctly on this end. Don't worry about it. He's not so bad, huh? Yeah, whatever. I loved my daughter with all my heart. But I... I now understand that by taking the lives of others, I was doing nothing to help my little Maria. Mr. Henry. Would you do me one small favor? Somehow, I just can't make myself hate him. I think Mr. Henry saw a little bit of Maria's spirit in you, Kara. For some reason, he couldn't bring himself to kill me in front of you. Happened to you, I know I would just die! 
Jake! You're an asshole! You're gonna die and don't do it by yourself! Oh, you don't mean what well, you Well, now that everything's taken care of, I guess we should all get packed up and go home. You got it! Okay. Hey, wait a minute! You're not gonna leave me behind! Are you listening to me, Rio? Feel free to take your time. What the hell do you mean, take your time? You guys better wait for me! Please wait, Rio! Huh? What'd you say happened to the commissioner? He got an unexpected transfer. You mean that he's been fired? Nah, I heard that they're gonna be sending in some elite cop from upstate to take over the position. Sounds like the guy actually requested for the transfer. Try to figure that one out. Is it really possible to make a request like that? The guy must be some selfish asshole. Yeah, and he must be totally nuts. The salary's gotta be a whole lot less. The crime rate down here is ten times higher. And on top of that, we don't have nearly a good enough arrest record, you know? I mean, especially in our division. Well, we can't help that. The problem is that our chief is just a big old furry teddy bear. He's more like a baby seal than a teddy bear. <laughs> a baby seal. <laughs> a baby seal, you lousy creeps! Everybody pay attention. The new department commissioner is going to give us a speech. Be quiet and give him your attention. Huh? Uh-oh. Allow me to introduce myself. As of today, I'm the department's new commissioner, Lieutenant Berkeley Rose. Uh, 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 uh. Very pleased to meet you. Shika Muna Nichi Rabari Setsuna Ichi Guso 